Hi. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about something that has changed a bit with 9.3 in regards to your duct content. So back in 9.2, there was a release announcement that our fittings had been updated. So this would be old fittings and new renovated fittings as well. Um, and with the implementation of version 9.3, um, these fittings will be required to be implemented. Uh, and what that means is if you're modeling with old fittings that are not prefixed with GSM, then they will not properly set your spacing at your duct to fitting connections. Um, and I could show you real quick what that's going to look like. So for instance, if I, none of these fittings are listed with GSM. And if I go ahead and go to model, uh, let's do something with TDC. So the fitting themselves will still work, they'll place, but the problem you'll run into is you're not gonna get a space. So this TDC should actually have an eighth inch gap at each connection to the duct. And being that these fittings are outdated and no longer really, really valid for stability in the model, um, it'll be necessary to get your systems moved over to the updated fittings. And so let's talk a little bit about what that looks like. So you could, if you wanted to go into add fittings and then right click on one of your fittings and go to this folder and you could, you could work through, um, work through your fittings and drag and drop the new one. So you'll notice that within the content section, there is a host of fittings that are non prefixed with GSM. And then also as you go down, you'll see, almost an identical set of fittings, but these are updated with GSM. And what that means is that these old ones do not carry a physical connection gap and create some instability. So we've upgraded to make sure that we can provide the stability that you need to count on your duct runs. Um, so you'll need to make sure that you're implementing these GSM fittings. So there's a list of them in here. So for instance, I was looking at the rectangular bend. I could just come down here and find the GSM rectangular bend, which is the same exact fitting only updated to carry that gap for you and create some more stability. Um, you could go that route. If you have a small system, it's not that bad. Um, if you have a larger system, so for instance, if I had this filled out, you could go another route, and that would be to get our legacy fitting import, um, which is here. So you can shoot over to the community and you should be able to find a .sysduct file over there that's titled legacy fittings.sysduct. And what you can do is import that. So I can show you real quick what that looks like. I will go ahead and delete this from my systems list. And then what you can do, so at, at your end, you wouldn't have that system. You can go ahead and go up to the menu, access your Cisco systems copy, and then come down here and click import system and then navigate to the downloaded system. So you see here, I have legacy fittings.sysduct. Um, wherever you downloaded it to is the location that you're gonna to wanna to search for. I'm just gonna select that and I'm gonna click open. And you'll see now that in my systems list, I have this legacy fitting system. Um, if this is the, your first time accessing these fittings, you'll have to go ahead and wait for it to download. But these are the fittings that essentially replace those old fittings without the gap. So what you could do from here is you could use this system if you wanted to, depending on your preferences. Uh, but if you just wanted to add the fittings from this into your system, there's an easy route to do this. Just come down here and click on add fittings. And then what you want is you want your host system on the left, which is the legacy. That's where I'm getting my fittings from. And you're gonna click manage and you wanna add on the right hand side, your system that's gonna carry the incompatible fittings. So there's a couple routes you can go here. You can either drag this whole tab, this rectangular tab over to the right and drop, and it'll ask you, if there's any duplicates, it'll ask you, do you wanna override them? If not, fine. Now this entire tab is in my system. And now what you can do is go back to the main menu and delete whatever it is that you don't want in there. All of my non-GSM, fittings were in the front. So in cap, um, canvas, shoe tap, 
I can just come through here, delete these. Now you'll probably want to keep the duct the same. So you can very easily just delete the duct that came over with that system. Oops. And maybe you don't even want all of these, right? Um, you could, if you went this route, you could just delete the fittings in here that you may not want. Um, but again, you could also delete the duct that came along with it. As long as you have your previously existing duct living in the system. Uh, there is another way to do it, and that would be to import it. So, for instance, I have it imported here. Um, you could right-click, copy, and then go to your system and paste. Right, All of my stuff already exists here. And you can also do that same copy-paste from within this Manage window. So, again, I'm going to go with my host system on the right. And then my system, or I'm sorry, the host system on the left, my system on the right. And now I'm free to copy and paste my fittings in one at a time. So if you have a small system, that might be the most efficient way for you to go. And essentially now, once you get these GSMs in place, your system is ready to go with version 9.3. And you can see the difference too. So you notice that when we drew here, we did not have a space. So if I were to set that same bend, um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this as default. And now you'll see the gap is present with this fitting, whereas with this one, it was not. Um, one thing to note too, is that once you get your fittings loaded in place, you're going to want to change your specifications. So the fittings that you paste from the legacy system are going to contain their own specification. So once you get it over, you could easily say, change duct specification, apply yours, and then change fitting specification and apply yours. And that system's ready to go. If you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out to support. They can give you a hand with getting this configured. Um, until then, go ahead and take a look at our YouTube channel for all the upcoming videos for version 9.3 and all it has to offer. Thanks for watching.